All right, guys, quick video tutorial for you. This is a Kimball um, file cabinet plug. And the question is, how do we remove this plug from the lock um, to service it, to replace it, whatever the case may be? So this, in this particular system, uh, particular uh, lock, we have an operating key. Um, so that's a positive for us. If not, we could just pick it to the correct position. You take a, uh, a, a pick, place it in, and you're just going to uh, press down and pull out or press up and pull out depending on the position. So I'm going to show you exactly kind of what we're looking at here. Um, this is the operating, this is the plug out of the, the lock. And you can see when I put the key in, all the wafers line up and we have our shear lines. Except for this one little wafer on the very back end, which is sticking up right now. That wafer is the retaining pin. That pin is what holds the plug into the lock. So by um, utilizing the pick, we can slide that inside and then uh, push that wafer down. So that's all we're doing is pushing that wafer down and allowing that plug to slide right out. Okay, so as you can see here, um, inside the cabinet lock, there are um, a couple of different grooves. And so depending on the placement of that plug, that's where those grooves will line up. The plug on the back. So we'll take that and we'll just kind of pop it back in place. And now we have the key back in and it allows it to pop out. So with that pick, we just slide it right back in. We're going to lift or push down on the retainer pin and slide it in and out very easily. If you ever run across one of these that the plug falls out, typically speaking, that retainer pin is malfunctioning or the key has been cut incorrectly or too long and whenever the key goes in it goes too far maybe the shoulder is worn down or uh, the plug is worn down uh, you, it allow the key to go in further and then push that retainer pin down and allow that plug to pop out so that's how you remove a cabinet plug